welcome to season four, episode two of the Raider Power Podcast. I'm Evan. With me today is Chris. Chris, how are we feeling today? Feeling good. Feeling a lot more upbeat. Uh, I'm uh, excited for this game coming up. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. We're just going to – we're running a two-man crew. Just going to do a quick segment here, re- quick recap of the Kansas game and looking ahead to Kansas State. What uh, what were your impressions, Chris, of the Kansas game? Uh, massive bounce back for this uh, Texas Tech football program. A must win for Matt Wells. Um, and, you know, you know, like the last couple games um, against Kansas, we lost the first one, and then the second one was close. It was a three-point victory, if I believe uh, that's right. So to see them come out and, you know, blow them out, this was basically 41 nothing. Kansas scored a couple touchdowns in garbage time. But uh, just an impressive – you know, it is Kansas, but an impressive show by both the offense and the defense. So overall, I was impressed. Um, like we were talking about just a second ago, I thought Columbia could have done a little bit more. But uh, what were your impressions? I mean, I-, I was happy for sure. But at the end of the day, it's Kansas, right? Yep. We're expected to win that game. We're expected to win big. However, Matt Wells is 0-1 in Lawrence heading into this game. This is so, true. You know, so in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, gosh, please not, don't let there be a repeat of two years ago. Yeah. And you're exactly right. Last year at, at Jones AT&T Stadium, we won on a last-second field goal. Yeah. Jonathan Garibay put it through. I think it was like 17-14, if I remember mm-hmm. correctly. So, uh, yeah, not, not good showings against the Jayhawks the past two seasons. So to see them come out and, and dominate – with every facet of the game uh, was encouraging. You, you mentioned those two garbage time touchdowns. I didn't love that uh, because they were you, playing our second and third string. I know, defense. but you could, you could see Matt Wells uh, at one point you saw him in that stretch uh, while we were still up and, the, and they had a goose egg. He was, he was mouthing shut out, shut out. So he, he wanted that shut out. Wells has never had a shutout in the big 12. Mm. Um, so he, he wanted that. Um, you, I don't even think he's had one at Tech. I, I think our last shutout was against Lamar, which was like 77-0, and I don't even think he was our head coach. So you could tell that Wells wanted that. He You you caught him on TV saying it. So the fact that we gave up two two scores within about two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Didn't really love that. But uh, as you said, garbage time touchdown. So – other than that, I thought it was a great game. Uh, we put the whoop on them like we were expected to do, and hopefully we carry some momentum into the Kansas State game and love it. You know, I will – you know, the last thing I'm going to touch on about this Kansas game was that this football team compared to the last two, um, I would say is more gritty. Um, and basically they're playing – they are playing like they have a lot of self-belief. Um, I feel like this team is a little bit more mature and is going to fight in, in every game, even though, you know, we're five and two, our two losses were just so embarrassing to the program. And as players, they haven't folded from that at all. So I think this is a resilient team. And I think this game coming up against Kansas state um, is really going to be a test of this Texas tech football program. Um, And I just told you guys a stat earlier today that Matt Wells has never won back to back big 12 football games. So. Well, back to back away games, right? Back to back big 12 games. Wow. Wow. So. Kansas State's coming to town. We win, we go bowling. It's hard to not get your hopes up a little bit there because when you look at the gauntlet of a schedule we're about to go through, yeah, we I'm, not sa- I'm not saying the remaining games we don't have a chance in, but you have to think that this next game statistically is our best chance at stealing one. Yeah, you know, 100%. So, oh man, I'm go- I'll be at the game, you know, and uh, I'm nervous for sure particularly because of Skylar Thompson. Yeah. You know, as, as you said earlier, Chris, before we started this, he, he loves playing tech. He, he usually has big stats against tech and 
he's a big physical quarterback who's got a big arm, but he's a dual big threat. time dual threat, which dual is threat. the scariest yeah. part, right? Because this season, the number one critique I have of our team is is the ability to shut down the run. So that certainly makes me nervous. So if you're nervous about Skylar Thompson, then tell me the real player you're really scared of on yeah. Kansas State. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Deuce. But, yep. Deuce Vaughn. Yep. And he, um, it, didn't he eat our lunch last year yes, too? Yes. Can't we have not beaten Kansas State, I believe, since two thousand and seven? No, two thousand fifteen, I believe. Wow. Um, but I the reason I'm bringing up other than the fact that he's a great player, um, I'm just nervous that we're going to see what we've seen against Texas and TCU is that we have the inability to stop the run and that Deuce is going to get you know, whatever he wants. Yeah. So, yeah. but, you know, Tech is, this is a huge game for Tech, like he just said. Yep. So a ton of excitement. I'm sure they're basically, this This is their moment, right? This, this is a defining factor in this team's season. Yep. And I would also say the same for Kansas State. They have gone through the gauntlet that you were just talking about the last couple of games, um, losing relatively close games to Oklahoma state, you know, they lost 31 to 20 and then they lost Oklahoma 37 to 31, Iowa state 33, 20, all pretty competitive football games. So they're hungry for a win. Yeah. And tech is also very hungry for a win. So this is, this is going to be have to be a very calculated, very locked down team come Saturday. Yeah. You almost wonder, at least I do, if Tech gets a little complacent after kind of they, they get some momentum going. And why I say that is because, you know, we have a massive win against Houston and then yep. do what we're supposed to do with two, you know, no offense to them, but garbage teams, the next two teams. And then we roll into UT, you know, our, our first test after Houston and get blown out of the water. I know yep. UT's a much better team than Houston. And Houston's a then, good team though. Right. But then we roll into Morgantown. We we take a big road win and get all our momentum, right? And then we have TCU and we look like a completely different team shows up, like we weren't ready. Then we bounce back against Kansas with a big road win. It's like, you know, are we what team are we gonna see? We're we gonna see the team that comes out and looks complacent after they get some momentum going, or are we gonna see the team that's fired up and ready to do their thing? You know, I mean that's a really good point. Um, I don't know where that's coming from, right? It has been a theme this season. We have momentum, it looks like we're rolling. There's a lot of excitement in Lubbock for the football program, and then we get blown out, like embarrassing losses. Um yeah. And both of those are pretty much down to inability to stop the run. So, I mean, especially in the TCU game, especially in the TCU game. So, and, and not starting fast. That's the other thing. And, you know, basically in both games, we threw interceptions relatively early in the game that kind of put it out of reach in the first half. Um, So this Kansas state game, you know, they're going to have to start fast. They're going to have to be able to stop the run to make Skyler throw. So, you know, I think Columbia's kind of gotten the offense grooving, um, especially against Kansas. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Well, I, I'm, I'm a little nervous. You know, hopefully our, our team shows up and performs. But I, I assure you that no one's more nervous than Matt Wells because – no. Uh, you know, when you, like I said, statistically, when you look at the remaining games, this is our best chance. I'm not saying we don't, uh, you know, have a decent chance in the other ones, but statistically that it's, it almost feels like a must win. Like if you, yeah. if you, if yeah. you, if I was him, right. So um, we'll see what they do, man. If I'm I, if I had his job, this is a must win. Yeah, I agree. I think this is a must win to not be fired. And I think one more win after this would secure him the job for the next year. I agree. But like you're saying, who knows? <laughs> right. Well, we'll see you at 11 o'clock at Jones AT&T Stadium on Saturday. But for now, I'm Evan. I'm Chris. This has been the Raider Power Podcast. Guns up. Guns up, baby. <laughs>